Andy, how are you feeling? Welcome back to the number one home improvement YouTube channel in the entire world. Well, we're hanging out in the dark in this basement. It has the worst lighting. But right now it's a mix mash of incandescent lights. Some are burnt out, some are still working. There's a couple LED bulbs, horrible CFLs that take forever to kind of warm up and put out light. The customers came to me and said, what can we do about the horrible lighting in the basement? Should we change out the light fixtures? What, what are our options? Now I'm going to show you what they have now and I will tell you and show you and we will install my solution. This video is sponsored by DataCamp. DataCamp is an online learning platform that makes it easy to build data analytic skills at your own pace with interactive courses. No previous data skills needed to get started. You can learn from things as simple as Excel 101 to more advanced technical skills like database manipulation. Regardless of the industry or career stage that you are in, data and analytical skills are necessary to advance in your professional life. Join DataCamp and stand out from your competition. DataCamp offers every first chapter of every course completely for free. Subscriptions start at $25 a month and there is no credit card required at sign up. No special software needed. DataCamp courses can be completed using your browser. I think being able to use Excel is a valuable skill set. That's why I recommend the course Data Analysis in Excel. I use Excel to create estimates and invoices as well as track all my income. Use my link in the description and check out the first chapter of any course for free. Thank you DataCamp for sponsoring today's video. This is what I got for them. This uh, information will be linked in the description. Uh, when you get to th this section of the light bulb area in the recessed lighting at either Lowe's or Home Depot, you're going to be overwhelmed. And you're going to see that one of these things can cost up to $34. And you're going to be like, geez, that's expensive. There's a lot of technology built into these style of recess lighting trim LED panel bulb replacements. That's what I'm calling them because they replace the bulb and they replace the trim of your recess lighting. This is a very common way of attaching a recess light trim ring. Well, this one here is the, the bulb. When this goes out in 50,000 hours, you got to get a replacement one of these. This goes up into your socket. You screw this up in there and then this dangles down and you plug it into the back here. And if you're lucky, your existing recess light fixture has these. Now some of them have springs and that's what these have. There's some modifications that need to be made in order to make this work. So as you can see, this style of trim is held on with springs. See the springs in there? That's not how these new LED trim replacement bulbs attach. What are we gonna do? Oh, get out of there. Oh, oh, we just got lucky. We just got lucky. It's got the little side pieces in there. Wow. People always say I get a little too lucky doing these handyman gigs. And sometimes I think, I think they're right. I was expecting to have to do the modifications to these, to the, to the replacement bulbs. So this is how we're going to attach. These things compress together. They go up and then they you release them and they spring back out. Well, sometimes when you go to install one of these, there's not a place for these little springs to go. So you can see that right there. That's where those springs go up right in there and then they expand out. If you didn't get lucky like I did, what you would do is you would unscrew this screw and this screw and you would remove these little brackets that hold the springs and then you would replace them with these they go just on just like that and you adjust these in and out tighten it down and these are kind of spring loaded grippers see there's little jagged grippers on the edge there and these push up against the edge of the recess can so it's like a friction press fit up in there this just gets screwed up into the socket See how that looks. Also, this is a, this can be adjusted. Loosen that wing nut, press that up, tighten the wing nut down. It kind of pushes that up out of the way, makes room for that deep LED replacement trim piece. Hopefully that trim piece covers these holes here. These light fixtures, 
the LEDs have a K value. I've discussed this before. The warmest setting is 2700K. I think that's Kelvin. And that's going to be like a yellow color. And its brightest setting is 5000K. I'll show you what the difference is between the 2700, the 3000, the 3500, the 4000, and the 5000K. Right now it's set to 2700, so it should, when as soon as I plug this in, we should get a yellowish color. Come on, get in there. All right, let's see how that is showing up on camera. That's the, the warmest color, the yellowest color, 2700. Yellow, 2700, boom, straight to 5000. You see how that changed? How it's a much whiter color? So we're going 5,000, back to 2,700. And the camera adjustments, the white balance in the camera, can compensate, and, and you'll see that as a delay. So I'm gonna go straight to 5,000 again. Very ugly color. And 2,700, my opinion is it's a little too yellow, a little too dim, a little too yellow. So I'm probably going to put this rate at 3,500 or 4,000. I've got a set at 3,500 and I'm just going to show you how this works here. These wires just kind of go up. Make sure you don't, they don't get tangled up in your spring loader clips here. And, and there. And whoo. Oh, man, look at that. Oh, I'm blinded. That is beautiful. Now you can see that light pattern. Because the light is actually only this far up in the trim, you get more. This is a close up of what the back of the bulb looks like. I don't know if it comes out on camera, but that starts up at 2700 and goes all the way to 5000. I'm going to set this one 3500K. This is one of the creepiest things I've ever seen in a kid's room. Straight down. You might be wondering, can you use these in bathrooms? Like above a shower? And the answer is yes. Take a look at that. Get a close up. Wet rated, dimmable, IC rated. I don't even know what IC rated means, but someone's going to tell me in the comment section. I know it. A half burnt out old CFL. So dangerous. Oh, now you can see. Well, that is it for this video. Oh, wait. I was supposed to install a special type of swing. I'm back in the other section of the basement and I've been asked if I can install this swing from the ceiling and have it real low to the ground, like six inches off the ground. So right about like there. They brought me some, some other attachments and, and things uh, to use on this. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. So these are TJI floor joists. And that stands for truss joist I-beam. And they come with these knockouts. See, there's a knockout there for running your plumbing and electrical through. So see that knockout? I'm going to knock it out. Now how do you do this knockout thing? You use a hammer and you give it a big... There goes the flashlight. Boom and you knock it out. So this strap here is meant to go around a tree. This is the tree hanging kit. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually almost there, so that's Two, uh, four, five, there we go, six inches. And now, let's just do a little bit at a time. Gotta go higher. So this side has to come up. What did I just do? Ah. 
All right. Swing around the circles here. If you swing on this thing too much in this configuration, you're gonna start chafing and chafing and chafing. It's gonna take a while, but it will happen eventually. Ugh. 